But I want to say something about the flamboyant tree that is really uh, remarkable, and it might sound very, uh, well, judge it for yourself, but the truth, it is the truth. I said that I felt and I feel that somehow I have been graced through this attachment to this tree. That it isn't just my choosing, but it's doing. Why? This tree exists all around the planet in this zone, on continents and islands, mm -hmm. all around the planet. And we heard its qualities and qualifications, ten most beautiful, largest red in the world. Yet, it has never been a subject for painting. And the entire history of art... It wasn't? Up until now. Oh. Find another one. You see? Mm. There's something phenomenal occurring. Now, yeah, it sounds... Yeah, uh, but it's not. <laughs> the truth is, the truth, the simple truth is, that my motivation hasn't been <clears throat> for any other purpose other than I'm responding to something mysterious that we call red and we call flamboyant tree that I just need to address and tempt. So you were pulled to, this, to the flamboyant tree? I was, pulled, I was pulled to the flamboyant tree because of our common soil. That's one of the wonders of painting in plein air is that it's revealed to you if you just follow it. Look how this takes you back. You see, suddenly you're way back behind all of this other stuff, which because this is so far back, these other things get present. And then you get this dark thing that moves up. And it is an opposite color to the orangey, so now it creates a vibration. And then the red and the green create the vibration. And then the yellow and the purple continue to do it. So that after a while, you're not depicting uh, uh, the, 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 the particular flowers or leaves or anything like that. You're, you're trying to stay within wherever that color leads you and leave a little deposit. And as you move throughout, you, you involve the entire space. So the whole space transforms, but it doesn't transform from what it is to an object. It transforms from the light, which is the white, to becoming color, and then the colors mingling, and then becoming an object.